All right, guys, I am back, The Elevated Male, with a new video. This one is How Physical Fitness Affects Dating and Relationships. Stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this. All right, guys, we're back, The Elevated Male, with a hot new video. This one is Physical Fitness, How It Affects Dating and Relationships. So, starting off, number one attraction so i'd like to say with attraction this is the most obvious um, we all know that putting in time and effort into diet training nutrition these things affects your general overall image right so uh, as far as dating and relationships this is kind of the key point the entry point uh, everyone notices how you appear how you dress how you speak how you talk these are all visual things so the first part is attraction, and this would be uh, characterized by your overall perceived image. Um, you know, from your height to how you walk, all these types of things. Um, these things are developed with proper diet, and training, nutrition, and all these things combined together over time gives you a better constructed image and how you appear to other people. So this one obviously um, is the most important when it comes to getting the attention of the opposite sex. It works very well for women, women that are very attractive, you know, typically speaking, small waist, you know, uh, tight toned are very attractive. They draw a lot of attention. Um, men with broad shoulders, uh, you know, tight midsections, you know, a, a tight uh, muscular physique typically is an attractive trait uh, for most women. Um, there are a lot of women that necessarily don't like uh, things done to excess, but that's generally speaking for all sexes, uh, men and women both, right? So uh, what we really want to focus on is trying to get ourselves to a point um, that we make fitness, training, nutrition, these things um, the most important, right? Um, there's no shortcut for this. Um, I would like to say that you can improvise certain other qualities to make up for that. But at the end of the day, if you are really looking for high interest, true desire, these types of things, you got to do the work and you need to put together a plan uh, for your training, nutrition, sleep, uh, all these things together. And I will be doing videos in the future on these things to give you sort of a heads up and a start to how to do these and how to put these things into place uh, step by step. So number one is attraction. Number two, how this affects dating and relationships. Uh, when you have your physical fitness all together in one package, there's no question about it. Confidence is going to protrude through you. Um, so when you feel good about yourself, when you're able to walk around and feel proud of the accomplishments, it doesn't matter at what level. Um, but when you're able to present yourself uh, and feel good in the clothes that you wear and uh, all that, you're going to feel more confident. You're, you're naturally going to walk with more confidence. You're going to speak to people with more confidence. There's no way around that. Uh, so like I said, the work has to be done. But confidence is going to be one of the first characteristics that you're going to notice when you start uh, focusing on your physical fitness, right? Um, the next one, number three, is going to be your mental clarity. Um, this is something that's also overlooked. Uh, mental clarity is going to be very evident um, when you're able to train, sleep well, eat well. Um, you're going to be able to, to, you know, produce your thoughts, speak more clearly, uh, you know, recall things more accurately. You're going to be in better overall health. So another key point, uh, mental clarity is going to be improved once you put together your training program, your diet, you know, nutrition supplementation, sleep, all these things together, right, guys? So that's number three. Number four is going to be your energy levels. Your energy levels are going to be elevated much higher whenever you're able to get proper sleep, uh, you know, recovery, uh, nutrition, um, and, uh, you know, training in store, right? You're going to be able to breathe easier, uh, walk up and down stairs easier. You're going to be able to have that extra energy to go do things, meet people, um, it's another area of your life that's going to be improved. And number five, this is important and it's something that is never really mentioned, but 
I think this is an important thing to remember about um, physical fitness, right? Your aura, and some people might um, call this like a spirituality or something along that line, but really what it is, it's an, an aura. It's a energy or a vibe that you put off when you focus on getting your health and fitness in order, right? So people can have a, a sixth sense about people when they're around them. Um, their energy radiates through them. So one important factor um, of health and fitness is your aura. So, and, and that's sort of a side effect of the first four, uh, attraction, confidence, mental clarity, energy, right? Those things put into place the fifth to be uh, there, present. So people will notice that you're confident. People will notice that you have high energy levels that you are a radiant person. Uh, that's going to be something that's going to bleed through you. So there is no shortcut for physical fitness. I really want you guys to be inspired um, to take the step and, and focus on getting your bodies in better shape, um, getting your, your mind state in better shape, and your health, your, the nutrition. This is not just the physical, but your, your health in, in better place. Now, there are five key points that go along with uh, these initial five points that, you know, that tie together. And I had already mentioned those, which is diet, training, sleep, um, supplementation. And, uh, one of the most important is your work life and stress balance. This is something that goes, uh, missed in a lot of situations. So you need to put yourself, um, a daily regimen in place. Um, you need to have time for meditation. You need to have time to unwind, relax, um, you need to look into natural supplementation that you can take maybe before bed. Um, you might take a hot shower before bed. Uh, whatever you can do to make sure that you're getting um, plenty of sleep and that you're getting plenty of, of, of that your life is in balance, that you have uh, not too much on your plate, right? You might have to remove something from your life. You might have to change things around. But the overall picture is here, like I said. Um, there is no replacement for how the opposite sex sees you um, if you don't have your physical fitness in order. People think that they can make up with it, you know, with money, um, a status. Um, these are true to an extent, but a person's overall desire, trust me on this, is going to be wrapped around that, that physical um that physical presentation that you have, right? If someone finds you incredibly attractive, they're just going to desire you. They're going to be into you. It's going to make your dating life much easier. Uh, you're not going to have to work so hard to start the initial attraction. And like I said, this is a key point too. It's just an initial attraction. Uh, you have to have the other pieces of your, of your life, the other puzzle pieces together in order to maintain that attraction and build over time. But there's no question about it when people use dating apps, when people use and they see you out and about, their first um, assessment is going to be how you look, how you dress, talk, all these things. And, and your physical body is going to be absolutely paramount. Like I said, I wish there was a way around that, but there really isn't. You know, for myself, this has been a, what, 13 year journey of putting in work and uh, just consistency to get to where I am now and there's still a never ending journey that I have. So there's no way around it. I can absolutely tell you that uh, taking the jump, making the start to get in this and train, join, get a membership um, somewhere that you feel comfortable and start this journey. The point is just get in it now. Don't put it off next week, a few weeks later, you know, get started now and start doing some research. Um, I'm going to be putting out videos that are going to um, break down into small steps how to go about doing this, um, especially for nutrition. That seems to be one of the harder areas of this. But guys, just please understand that attraction is, you know, everything. And uh, that's what's going to make your, your dating life easier. And um, like I said, just do the work. Be comfortable with doing the work and the results are going to come. I, I promise. Just, you know, take some time plan some things out and put yourself a nice uh, routine in place and you'll get the, resi the desired outcomes that you want. Um, so for that, I'd like to wrap this up. Um, like I said, 
Um, this is physical fitness, how it affects dating relationships. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like down below. Leave a comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing all different types of content cover all areas like i said this is the elevated male so we're all about self-improvement here and uh i want you guys to be the best possible version that you can be you can do it you just got to believe in yourself so with that stay tuned for the next one the elevated male i'm out